Oshamo kwe ko o ba bere Ko sa ye fun sume sume Lo ju mi yon mo e ko yi o ni ba je jo It's a play girl, you know we like it It's a play girl, you know we love it Well, you never slack or you never weep. We making money or we keeping nothing. I want to know she had to know. I want to go and not know. Don't do every day or more or more. Don't do more. If you make a CD, so you can see. Then let you go for the low baller. Or more don't watch it. It go back to red. You better pay your tax if you wanna stay. Brotherhood or black, that's me. You're the D. We represent Lagos to the fullest. It's a slayer. You know we like it. Across Lagos today, echoes of transformation reverberates everywhere. In the increasing number of roads, improved security and surveillance system, housing estates provided in various units, functional transportation network, functional health and social services as well as improved education sector, amongst others. Indeed, the story of Lagos in the last 2,600 days is that of visible transformation and progress that is measurable. The force behind all this success, Governor Babatun de Raji Fashola's administration, has demonstrated that good governance is a function of a sense of a mission, vision, careful planning, and diligent execution. It goes back to planning. If there has to be a study first, then without that study, you can't even design the transport solution. But all of that is behind us now. The Okota Link Bridge is finished. Ibe Road has been finished many years ago. It was a pain before. It's now a pleasure to drive through. But the work doesn't end. It was part of our plan. But we ran into difficulties. People didn't want to give up their properties where we needed to expand the road. But they wanted a road. Nobody wanted to pass through his house. That's a road construction, really. In the, in the most densely populated part of town, constructing where people are traveling and going to work and trading. You need to salute not only our contractors, but the Lagos State Government. This is really a nightmare in urban redevelopment. But we're achieving it because we plan, because we are committed, and because we're focused. In the last 100 days especially, these transformations continue with the handed over of more projects provided to enhance the quality of living of Lagosians. One of the major legacies of Governor Babatun Raji Fashala's administration is road construction, with road transportation still being the largest means of facilitating exchange of goods and services. These infrastructure continue to attract the attention of the administration. In Ado, Ado Kekere, Langbasa and Ajabadori roads in Aja Axis and College Road in Ifako in the Ogba Axis. Governor Fashola handed over key road projects executed to further open up the state, eliminate traffic bottleneck, and reduce stress of commuting within their areas and associated man hour loss. Today, we democratize access to qualitative transport infrastructure. As you will have noticed over the last few years, every democracy day has become defining as a day where we make a particular impact and statement about our commitment to improving the transportation network in Lagos. Why transportation? It is defining for our civilization. It affects the prices of goods and services, it affects how much money is left in our pocket. It affects the quality of infrastructure. It defines how easily our children can get to school. It affects the productivity of the entire economy. We are at Yaya Abato in the Fakolo, local government to hand over to you a 2.9 kilometer main road and seven connecting inner city roads. And this for me, is the value and the meaning and the purpose of democracy. To the glory of God, the fulfillment of our commitment to service, 
the development of infrastructure and the upliftment of our citizens for the successful completion of this main road and seven connecting inner city roads. I therefore now unveil this plaque. Today, the 29th day of May 2014, to commemorate the official handing down of the Yaya Batum College Road in Pakistan and the adjoining road. May all those who drive through this road have a safe and happy motoring experience. And may this road increase the prosperity of this community and our state at large. We feel great. I can't say hi the people of Ifakojai as well we feel great about this road because we don't expect it. It's one of the best roads we have in Ifakojai as at now. So and um, we know some difficulties on the road when it's not good. Robbery, all sorts of things, but everything is going on right now since we have the road. I've changed many things for this road. Like uh, before this road is not is also it's not like this before. Now you can see cars is passing everything. It's nice road now. The, the road don't make my market move very fine. Since inception, the administration prioritized the provision of adequate security for lives and properties. This necessitated the establishment of the Lagos State Security Trust Fund with the support of the private sector, through which funds are regularly made available for the acquisition of operational equipment for security agencies. Again, 100 utility vehicles, 150 motorbikes, and five specialized vehicles were acquired for use of the Lagos State Police Command and the Rapid Response Squad, the RRS. This continuous investment is expected to replace aging equipment and boost surveillance activities by these agencies. It is incontestable that Governor Fashala's administration has brought provision of decent housing to the front burner. Since the launch of the Lagos Home Ownership Mortgage Scheme, Lagos Homes, it has inaugurated the board of the scheme and constructed over 4,000 housing units. Besides, it held the first draw where winners of the first batch of 200 housing units emerged. In the last 100 days, the administration held the second, third, fourth and fifth draws to select the winners of a new batch of 800 housing units. These were held on Friday 4th of April, Wednesday 7th of May, Wednesday 4th of June and Wednesday 9th of July 2014. Our baby and slowly but surely the Lagos Mortgage Board, the Lagos Homes, the baby we battered in March is beginning to crawl is beginning to find its footsteps and is steady and more landlords are emerging and that gives me a lot of pleasure. A housing project delivering homes for residents has many objectives. It must touch those who need the homes and there's a broad spectrum of them. Vulnerable people young people starting out families, young people just starting out in their careers who are not yet married, looking for a place to put their heads, and also people who have worked for some time who need to own their own property. And I think that so far, so good, what we have seen, although I think the young people have tipped the scale, and perhaps that must be so, because they represent now, from what we are told, the largest portion of our country's population. And therefore, as long as this scheme is answering to the needs of young people just setting out in life, I think that it is achieving one of its objectives. The homes were going to be well built, and I think that we have achieved that. The quality of the homes have improved, and they continue to improve because our research and development unit in the Ministry of Housing is now leading that research and innovation to improve the quality of the homes, to improve so many things inside. That it was going to be a transparent scheme 
No bribery, no man knows man, no esprit de corps, no under the table deal. So far, so good. Everybody has gone online, done their transactions, won, and you will see even people on the telephone who did not know that they were going to win. So you don't need to know anybody. And that is important for the next issue, which is sustainability. Now, I don't know if this is happening in any other state in Nigeria, and I would like to know where 200 homes are being offered monthly without fee every month. I don't know. I would like to know. I don't know if this is happening in any West African country where a government commits that we will put 200 homes on the market for residents and it is doing so without fail. Now, that is a big challenge, but so far so good we are up to that challenge. We are just five months old. That cell phone has taken 12 years, now we all have it. I am confident that whether I am here or not, patiently, one by one, as many people who want to own a home in Lagos, who are working, will be able to do so. I am very happy. And I want to thank the governor of Lagos State for all he's been doing in Lagos State. I'm a retired person. But for God's sake, it is not easy to own a house in Lagos State. But for him, he has done it, and God will continue to guide him. Of course, I thought it was a lie, like, okay, it's a normal thing, Lagos thing, you have to lose somebody before you get you, but well, fine, it is real. I feel very lucky, I feel very blessed. I, I'd like to thank the, um, the, governor, the governor and his team in Lagos State. I was a skeptic till I reached there, um, now I'm no more a skeptic. <laughs> so happy, great and impressed by what the city government is doing right now. I'm so happy to be, at least as a starter, to be a landlord, even at a very, very young age. This is a reflection of the true governance. Uh, to show that you can go online, apply yourself, get everything submitted, provided you have any necessary documentation, and you can be picked upon to win the truth pledge transparency. So I believe this is the way forward for Nigeria, and Pashola has begun the process. I'm really very happy. I don't know that it's very easy to own a house in Lagos, but I'm really very happy. I thank Governor Pashola and his team for a job well done. Very good. I feel very good. It's excited to know that um, you don't really have to know anybody to win. Um, it's a free and fair process and it's an online process. So you have to sit just in front of your laptop to get it done. That's all I think. So it was really fantastic knowing that it's a free and fair one. In addition to the draws, the administration embarked on massive inspection of ongoing housing projects. The tour took Governor Babatunde Fashola and his team to Lagos home sites in Etiosa, Ajara in Badagri, Egon Igondo in Alimosho, Ogba Oluwole and Okuoba. In addition, Governor Fashola held a meeting with artisans, transport owners, the National Union of Road Transport Workers, the NURTW, and market women and men on Lagos homes. The giant strides in provision of housing was capped with the commissioning of Lagos homes at Iloro in Agege. The provision of specialized but free health services also featured in the last 100 days as free cleft palate reconstructive surgery.